on. Fish on. Yes, yes, I know, fellas, we want to get into this juicy straight bass video, but before we get into that, hear me out. Let me drop a brief history lesson. Now, I believe we fishermen should learn about the history of our waters as it allows us to truly admire and appreciate the region in which we are able to practice such a great sport. No, not that type. Hell no, not that type either. Ah, yes, fishing. Around 500 years ago, a man by the name of Giovanni de Verrazzano became the first European to discover and sail in our New Jersey waters. Or so we think. This is the potential hoax in which historians believe is possible. The Verrazzano letter written by Giovanni himself, or maybe not, to King Francis I explains a wonderful voyage to the New World. Although the information sounds too accurate to be fabricated, they believe he, Verrazano, could have been tied up with the King of Spain in a different part of the world. There also seems to be a problem with timing in the letter, as the crew claims to eat grapes a month before departing in June, but we only see grapes in our region no earlier than July. And according to Henry Murphy, misrepresentations of the natives and their culture also exist in the letter. One must ask, where did the Verrazano letter really come from? Possibly from an exploration a year later. Estevan Gomez, a Portuguese explorer, set sail across the Western Sea. So there are claims that it really came from Gomez. Interestingly, this whole thing ties into Verrazano's ultimate death. According to legend, Verrazano's journey would come to a gruesome end. Cannibals. No, seriously, apparently this guy jumped ashore some island in the Caribbean where he was attacked and eaten while the rest of the crew could just helplessly watch. But some also speculate this was an alibi, and he was actually executed in Spain for his piracy in 1529. Regardless of who it actually was to touch our New Jersey shore first... It was the Vikings! Yeah, shut up, okay? It's my video, shut up. We find ourselves on those same shores 500 years later fishing. Alright, what the fuck? Nobody likes fucking fly fishing, alright? That very same water. Eh, okay. That's enough. Alright, let's get into the fishing. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright boys, we got the glob of blood worm going out. Hell yeah! Oh yeah! Hell yeah! Nice! No way! Let's go! Let's go! That's a catch! That's a catch! Wow! 
Come on, fellas, the first outing. We got one. Decent striped bass here on the blood worm. <laughs> Come on. Didn't fight at all. He just kind of came in with it. We're gonna get him a quick release. The flip too. Hell yeah. Fellas, I just do an entire blood worm. You're gonna think I'm nuts, but. And you just wrap him with the clam tie. That's all it is. Fish though. I don't know y'all, it's still it's still a fish to catch in my book. This little guy. LG as they call him. <laughs> Weird, man. Then I'm gonna be they slurp them up like this one day. Yeah. And then you wake up, right? Yeah, and then I fucking <laughs> get the sweats. <laughs> <laughs>